Hey all, this is part two of my set of videos about the visa process for foreigners working in China. If you haven't already seen part one, where I talk about the process involved in getting a work visa at an embassy or consulate outside China, you may want to start there first. This video picks up where that one left off, with the process involved in traveling to China on that work visa, as well as what you need to do after you arrive to acquire a residence permit within China. After that, I'll also talk a bit about renewing a residence permit in China, and also what you must do if you're going to change employers within China. So, let's go. So, let's say you've already got your Chinese work visa, and you're ready to travel to China. Okay, at first I'm going to make two assumptions here. One, you are tr doing this after the COVID-19 pandemic. And two, international travel is mostly the way it was before the COVID-19 pandemic. That is to say, I'm assuming that you do not need to worry about things like testing before departure or quarantining upon arrival in China. Assuming that's the case, go ahead, make your travel arrangements to China. The majority of people on work visas arrive in China by air, in which case your passport and visa will be checked at your first arrival airport in China, even if you are connecting to a flight to another Chinese city. So if, for example, you were to fly from Los Angeles to Beijing and then Beijing to Xi'an, you would go through Immigration and Customs in Beijing. At present, a quick plane change in Beijing isn't actually possible because you'd need to quarantine for two weeks in Beijing. But again, I'm assuming this is all happening after the COVID-19 pandemic is over. When the immigration agent stamps your passport, a 30-day countdown begins, before the end of which you must apply for a residence permit from the immigration authorities within China. Also keep in mind that you must not leave mainland China before you get your residence permit, because your work visa is only good for one entry. Leaving China would leave you without a way to get back in. And just let me stress really quickly, although Hong Kong and Macau are definitely part of China, they continue to have their own immigration. So traveling to either of those cities means you are leaving mainland China and you would not be able to get back in on your single entry work visa. So, don't go there until you've got your residence permit. Speaking of which, your employer should be working on completing the procedures required for you to get your residence permit. One of the first things is that you have to have your passport registered with the police station that has jurisdiction over the area you're living in. Actually, this is true of all foreign visitors to China, but Many tourists don't need to worry about it so much because hotels will carry out these registrations for you. If you're not staying at a hotel, your passport must usually be brought into the police station in person to register it. Your employer should help you out with this. They'll also need to apply to get the final version of your work permit, which, unlike the paper you receive to apply for a visa abroad, takes the form of a plastic card the size of a credit card. You will also need to go to a hospital or clinic designated by the government for a health examination. When all the documents are in order, you can apply for your residence permit at the local branch of the Chinese Immigration Department. They will need to retain your passport for a while, usually over a week, so don't plan on doing any traveling during that time. They will give you a return receipt that you can use to demonstrate that you are remaining in China legally until you get your passport back. How you receive your passport back may vary. I've been in cities where it can be mailed back to you. In others, you or someone else may need to retrieve your passport in person. Either way, once you have your residence permit, you can check and see how long it will last for. Usually it lasts a year, assuming your employment contract lasts at least that long. By that date, you must renew your residence permit, or else switch to another visa type, or else depart mainland China. It will also say your purpose for residence in China is to work, though this is written only in Chinese as gong zuo. Your residence permit, unlike your original work visa, also allows you to depart and re-enter China multiple times. 
At present, you would be stuck in quarantine after re-entry. But again, I'm hoping maybe you're doing this in the post-COVID era. Keep in mind that under Chinese law, you're actually supposed to carry your passport everywhere you go so that it can be inspected by the police. It's not common in most areas of China, but the Chinese police do have the authority to stop you and ask to check your passport without suspecting you of actually committing an offense. You'll also need your passport whenever you're traveling, even domestically. You'll need it as identification when you're using pretty much any form of long-distance transportation in mainland China. And you'll also need it when checking into hotels. They must register the details of your passport, residence permit, and most recent entry to mainland China with the local police. If you stay with friends or relatives in China, you need to bring your passport to the local police station there to register it. Lots of foreigners don't really bother with this if they're just there for a short stay. However, it is legally required even then, and not doing so could result in an issue if for whatever reason you are stopped by the police. If you're going to be working and living in China for longer than your residence permit is valid, you'll need to renew it. This is a fairly simple process most of the time, as long as you're still with the same employer. Your employer should be able to gather the documents for this with relative ease to show that you are still employed with them, and therefore your visa needs to be extended. Another thing that's important to remember, if you're planning to leave mainland China to travel to another country, be sure your residence permit is going to be valid for long enough for you to get back into China. If you're planning to travel abroad and your residence permit is close to its expiration date, be sure your travel plans leave enough time for you to renew your residence permit. What if you want to change jobs within China? Your work permit is tied to the employer that applied for it. However, you can transfer a work permit from one employer to another. This is a more complicated process than merely renewing a residence permit, but it's definitely doable as long as you follow the terms of your existing contract, either by completing it or by complying with the terms for terminating it early. Before that time, you'll need to give your new employer documents similar to the ones you gave your previous employer. So, copy of your passport, plus your residence permit, your CV, the qualifications for your job, and uh, that kind of thing. In addition, when your contract is over, you'll need to show the documents demonstrating that your work permit with that employer is cancelled so that you can transfer it to your new employer. Your employer is obligated to get you this document as long as you have complied with the contractual terms for ending your employment with them. Also, depending on the rules in your new employer's location, you may need to cancel your existing residence permit and switch to a stay permit before applying for a new residence permit. Your new employer should help you navigate the procedures for your new residence permit. You won't need to leave the country to get a new work visa from a Chinese embassy or consulate. And that's it. That's my basic rundown of how to enter China on a work visa, convert it to a residence permit, renew a residence permit, and transfer a work visa from one employer to another. Hope it was helpful. If you want to see more stuff like this in the future, feel free to let me know in the comments. And this would be a great time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye.